what's up everybody welcome back to another video from exotic astrology great to see you back again and today we will start with the discussion on house lords who are the planets that are ruling the different houses and before beginning as i always say god is there with you all the time just look to him and he will be there okay and if you have not subscribed to my channel then please subscribe to it and if you have any questions queries or comments after this video then please let me know in the comment section okay and here begins the discussion on the house lords okay we will discuss with an example as it is best to learn with an example so we do not have the degrees of planets because we are not concerned about those degrees now neither we are concerned about the placement of planets in itself nor we are concerned about the nakshatras we are only concerned about seeing which planet is ruling which house here we are not concerned about where the planet is sitting okay that we will discuss in the next video so if you have watched my earlier videos on the houses you will know that this house is always referred to the first house yes the number nine you see is not the house number it is the zodiac number okay it is the ninth sign which is sagittarius so if you have not watched those videos in the playlist above then please go and watch otherwise you will not understand properly what i am speaking here okay and half knowledge is very dangerous okay you are very intelligent you will all anyways figure it out sooner or later so this is the first house this is the second house this is the third this is the fourth this is this uh, fifth this is the sixth this is seventh this is the eighth house this is the ninth house this is the tenth house this is the eleventh house this is the twelfth house and back to the first house again so here the moment you see this chart this diamond chart north indian chart you should understand this rectangle which i am showing through the mouse this is known as the kendra houses okay angular houses if you have not watched the video on angular houses then please go and watch it okay the first fourth seventh and tenth house this house and this house is known as the trikona houses ninth house fifth house and also the first house first house is a dual house dual in the sense it is also a kendra and a trikon primarily it is a kendra okay so i will not go into the details of what the houses represent that you already know if you have watched the videos earlier and if you have not watched then please go and watch now how do you analyze a chart is regarding the house lords you see in this house what is the sign which is placed okay again let me remind you this is not ninth house this is the first house this will always be the first house irrespective of nine five six seven four any number can be there from one to twelve in this house okay even in any of the houses the numbers can be anything anything in the sense it will begin from here so if there is nine here ten has to be here eleven has to be here you cannot have 12 here and then 5 here and then 6 here then 2 here it is not possible so in astrology whenever we count we count from that house okay so when we say second house from the first house what do you say first house second house suppose i say second house from the fifth house what you would say you go to the fifth house first second so now I say fourth house. Fourth house from where? From the ascendant. Then I would go. This is the ascendant, the lagna, first, four, second, third, fourth. Okay. Now if I want to calculate the fourth house from the fourth house, it will be the seventh house because fourth house from the fourth. This is the fourth house. So first house, second house, third house, fourth house. Okay. Now fourth house from the seventh house is first, second, third, fourth. Fourth from the tenth is the lagna itself. First, second, third, fourth. So all the kendras are pleasure houses. 
they are placed 4, 7, 10 to each other. First house is placed 4th from the 10th, 7th from the 7th and 10th from the 4th house. Okay. So, it is very easy to understand. Whenever I say 12th house from the 3rd house, count. 1st house, 2nd house, 3rd house, 4th house, 5th, 6th, 7th, 8th, 9th, 10th, 11th, 12th. So, this is the 3rd house. Okay, this which you see 11 is written here, the sign of Aquarius and 12th from this house is the second house where number 10 is written Capricorn. Similarly, which is 6th from the 8th house, you go to the 8th house, okay, which is the 8th house, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, okay, this is your 8th house, so count 6th from here, 1, 2, 3, 3, 4, 5, 6. So you get back the Lagna. Okay. You count 8th from the 6th. Go to the 6th house. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Now here, from here you count 8 houses, including these houses I say. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay. So you again come back to the Lagna. Go to the 7th house. Count 7 from there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5, 6, 7. This is the 7th house where you see Mars is sitting in the sign of Gemini. Now from here you count 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay. Count 11th from the 11th house. This is the 11th house. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Ketu is sitting here in the sign of Libra. Okay, from here you count 11 houses. It will come to the 9th house. You count like this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. See, you get to the 9th house Leo. The counting always grows like this anti clockwise. Okay, the, the planets will always move anti clockwise like this. Clock moves like this, right? This is clockward motion and anti-clockwise is like this, opposite. So Ketu after some days, months, years, months actually, it goes to Scorp, uh, it, it will, Ketu, Rahu Ketu moves retrograde, so they will go to the previous sign. So Ketu will come to Mercury, but all other planets, they move direct. Of course, there are other planets except Sun and Moon, the other planets, the rest five, they can be retrograde or direct but in general in direct motion for example mercury will go to libra then to scorpio then to sagittarius then to capricorn then to aquarius okay at times it can also move to and forth but this is the standard motion okay so now what do we see is regarding the house lords how do you decide which planet is ruling a house? Ruling a house means he is having the maximum say about the house. Okay. Whatever he says will ultimately prevail more than the planet who is placed there. Okay. The planet who is sitting there is like the house tenant. He is like the guest. Okay. And he doesn't have much say over the house. But the planet which is ruling that house has the majority say, has the maximum say. So now, to know this you have to know the numbers, the sign numbers, uh, which planets rule them, okay. For example, <coughs> which signs does Mars rule? Mars rules 1 and 8, right? Aries and Scorpio. 2 and 7 are Taurus and Libra ruled by Venus. 3 and 6 are ruled by Mercury, which is Gemini, Virgo. Then 9 and 12 are Sagittarius and Pisces ruled by Jupiter. And 10 and 11 are Capricorn and Aquarius, which is ruled by Saturn. And Scorpio is also co-ruled by Ketu. And Rahu is also co-ruled, uh, sorry, Aquarius is also co-ruled by Rahu. So now here, whenever I say Lord of the first house, what do you do? 
very simple go to the first house which is the first house this is the first house what did i say earlier see the sign number okay so go to the first house okay as i always said this will always be the first house don't think this is the ninth house ninth house is always this where you see five written now okay so this is the first house now which is the sign here number nine that means it is sagittarius if you do not if you are confused with the signs and numbers then please refer back to my earlier videos okay the basics on signs and the planets ruling the signs otherwise you will get confused here so as i said 9 and 12 this and this this house and this house 9 and 12 are ruled by jupiter sagittarius and pisces okay so how would you say here the ruler of the first house because number 9 is falling in the first house and you count the 12th house the 12th sign where is 12th sign first house second house third house fourth house okay so jupiter is ruling the first house and the fourth house am i clear am i understood yes i know you have understood very simple see similarly go to the 10th house if i have to say who is ruling the 10th house just check the number number six okay what you will say number six is virgo ruled by mercury so mercury is ruling the sixth house don't think of this mercury sitting here anybody can be sitting here or nobody can be sitting here we will come to the placement of planets later but now i am only talking of the house lords similarly go to the seventh house this is the seventh house right one two three four five six seven which sign do you see here number three is gemini which is the ruler mercury is the ruler so mercury is the ruler of the seventh house and the tenth house okay now where uh, who is the ruler of the second house first house second house see number 10 is the the number which is showing so 10 is capricorn so capricorn is ruled by saturn so you will say saturn is the lord of the second house okay so whatever happens in the things in matters of the second house saturn will be responsible very much okay good or bad both or neutral also similarly third house is ruled by saturn because aquarius is also ruled by saturn because aquarius represents number 11 and third house is also co-ruled by rahu because rahu also rules aquarius okay fourth house i already told 12 is pisces so jupiter is ruling what about this fifth house fifth house has the sign aries so mars is the ruler okay don't confuse between uh, this first house or fifth house this is the fifth house the number one sign is aries i am repeating again and again what about the sixth house this is the sixth house right one two three four five six so sixth house has the sign number two which then which means it is taurus okay which is ruled by venus so venus is the ruler of the sixth house then seventh house i already said mercury then eighth house is the sign cancer number four which is ruled by moon so moon is the eighth lord ninth lord is sun because number five is leo okay and number six is mercury so 10th lord is mercury number seven is libra so 11th lord because this is the 11th house right this is 10th house this is 11th house clockwise go from here to here don't think this is the 11th house this is the 9th house then you have 10th house then you have 11th house so who is the ruler of the 11th house don't think about this ketu think about this number number is seven so it is ruled by venus libra so that means venus is the 11th lord also now number eight is scorpio co-ruled by ketu and mars so you can say the 12th house okay this house the 12th house has two rulers one is mars another is ketu similarly third house this house has two rulers aquarius also because aquarius is ruled by rahu and saturn so i hope uh, you understood so i will summarize first 
and fourth are ruled by Jupiter, seventh and tenth are ruled by Mercury, second and third are ruled by Saturn, first and twelfth are ruled by uh, sorry, fifth and twelfth are ruled by Mars. 6th and 11th are ruled by Venus, 8th is ruled by Moon, 9th is ruled by Sun and Rahu rules the 3rd house and Ketu rules the 12th house. So that's it from my side. Next video we will discuss about the uh, placement of the planets who are known as uh, tenants. Okay, So these are the house lords and we will discuss more about their significance later. Okay. Until next time, bye-bye, see you.